Ethereum's much anticipated transition to the proof of stake uh, consensus algorithm is here, but what does that mean for Ethereum Layer 2 protocols like Polygon? Well, joining us now to discuss is Polygon co-founder Sandeep Nailwal. Hello there, Sandeep. Great to have you on the show. So just would love to get your reaction off the bat on what does Ethereum's, Ethereum's merge mean for Polygon? So uh, I think the most important thing that it means uh, for uh, Polygon as well as any ecosystem project on uh, Ethereum, whether it's a protocol like Layer 2 or uh, it's like any application build is, built is that uh, it makes Ethereum uh, more greener or in fact I would say that uh, you know much more greener than uh, uh, you know the 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 proof of stake or proof of work days of uh, Ethereum, and now um, basically we are at a place where uh, we can uh, the Ethereum community can fully go to the enterprises and the mainstream users, and uh, you know can confidently say that this technology is environmentally sustainable, and uh, as as revolutionary as Web three is, uh, there should I think this was the last uh, kind of thorn in the path to uh, mass adoption for Web3. For us, like, you know, as you see Polygon uh, in the past few days, like Starbucks and, you know, Disney's and Instagram and Facebook's of the world and all that, uh, you know, everywhere, Stripe, eBay, uh, Polygon is being integrated. Most of the time when we are speaking to these enterprises, all of them previously used to be, used to have big issues around ESGs. ESG and, uh, and and environmental stuff now that is out of the way. So so this is a huge step for uh, the entire Ethereum and Web3 community to go mainstream, uh, and that's the most exciting part for me because you know as as we keep saying that for Polygon the mass adoption is the mission of life. So uh, for us it's, it, that's the most important part about this much, oh. and also it opens up the way for future uh, upgrades, which will further ensure that the layer two scalability, uh, you know, uh, takes off. Yeah, earlier I mentioned that there was a viewing party held by the Ethereum Foundation on YouTube. Uh, over 40,000 folks had joined at its peak. And uh, Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, also joined in with some remarks upon the merge. Let's just have a quick listen. This is, uh the the first step in ethereum's um big journey toward being a uh, very uh, a, a very mature system and uh, there's uh, still steps left to go we still have to scale we uh, still have to fix privacy we still have to make the make the thing actually yes uh, secure for regular users and um all of this stuff and uh you know, I think uh, we all just we all need to work hard and uh, do our part to make all of those um, other things happen as well. So I mean, I, I'm you know, like to me, the merge just like symbolizes from the uh, difference between um, sort of early stage Ethereum and uh, you know the uh, Ethereum we've always wanted um, early stage Ethereum to be, uh, to become. So let's uh, go and uh, build out all of the other uh, parts of that ecosystem and, uh, you know, turn Ethereum into being what we want it to be. So Sandeep, I was just hoping you could react to some of that. You know, this is a huge deal, the Ethereum merge, and an incredible accomplishment for the Ethereum community, but it sounds like it doesn't solve everything all at once. Yeah, of course, like it's, a, it's the, like the first major step in the series of a large number of steps, uh, you know, which can uh, basically, uh, bring in a billion users into Web3, as I, you know, keep saying. So this, um, uh, you know, uh, with, with this much, not only this, this environmental issues, uh, you know, are out of the window, but now we have this uh, beacon chain and the Ethereum uh, chain becomes one of the chains into it. Uh, now we have upgrades like uh, dank sharding, uh, you know, lined up next, I think, which will become the priority of the Ethereum community. Uh, which will allow probably, you know, hundreds of thousands of uh, these uh, layer two chains built up on Ethereum, which will derive from the security of Ethereum. So which will make layer twos more secure as well as, uh, you know, more scalable. And then eventually probably in, 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 you know, like a few years to come, hopefully a sharded future of uh, Ethereum. And then, uh, you know, this is already the most uh, kind of, uh, 
uh, advanced and mature ecosystem like you know vitalik is being very humble in saying that you know the you have to build the ecosystem the ecosystem is pretty huge already but definitely in the in the path to going to a, a billion users we are still very early and definitely there are a lot of things like the things that he is talking about that uh, making it secure for the average users like it includes things like account abstractions and things like that those are not related to scalability but the user experience part of it uh, so similarly uh, to that there are a lot of things that needs to be built out but yes this is uh, probably uh, i would say that in this in the journey of web3 uh, one of the biggest inflection points uh, to to make it more ma- mainstream so are we finally going to stop talking about eth killers do you think we're going to retire that term or are people still going to be saying that <laughs> i think that uh, time and again has uh, that, that that term has been uh, kind of invalidated like there has been no eth killer as vitalik said uh, some time back that eth uh, you know eth, eth is the eth killer because basically eth 2.0 is the eth, eth killer actually you know ethereum itself will keep upgrading and uh, will become the uh yep so the, it, it's funny when, when we first began discussing uh, uh when you first began discussing the merge the first thing you said was the environmental impact um it's something that has been brought up repeatedly over the past several weeks yet when uh, the merge was initially uh, conceived the whole idea was that it was about scalability this whole idea of moving to proof of stake was about scalability why has that discussion changed to environmental impact um I, I, is there a question is there still a a big question mark over scalability in a proof of stake system or is it just that people just latched on to environmental impact and that's it i mean is there really anything there with scalability or is that a nothing burger yeah so i would say that it has to do with the you know overall the the, the history or the journey of 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 the thing proof of stake has been always the goal uh for the ethereum community right from the beginnings of ethereum and at that time uh, it was about you know first step towards scale but now if you see it, the the place where ethereum community is actually there is already a fair amount of scalability available on the layer 2s including the rollups including you know polygons current solutions future solutions and and many other ethereum community providers right uh, and then during this time the more mainstream adoption also happened uh, for ethereum and we saw all those you know nfts are evil kind of hate talk and the narrative from the from the mainstream uh, which in in our belief is is the more uh, kind of detrimental to the the the, the mainstream adoption of web3 uh, instead of the scale because some of that scale is already available uh, on web3 so i am probably that also comes from my side because i am actually uh taking this to the enterprises and when we discuss all of these things like these uh, environmental things uh, come across more as a challenge instead of uh the scale because the some of some amount of scale is available today uh but then again uh as you as you as you said that you know definitely it is about scale uh you know and 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 allowing the whole ethereum ecosystem a place where uh, you know it can be possibly scaled to uh, a billion users and for that like you know proof of stake is an important step so definitely scale is there but if you see what is the status today as a, you know today that scale is some level of that scale is available at layer 2 it's more about the adoption which gets uh, you know uh, adversely hit which used to get adversely hit uh, because of the environmental concerns i'll just jump in and say that i saw that there was a Polygon blog posting that while the merge does pave the way for sharding this future upgrade will not be enough to scale Ethereum. In fact, Polygon will benefit from it and it will boost the performance of our scaling solution. So what what do you mean that it won't be enough to scale Ethereum? Yeah, so so this correct. So the, the, the this particular upgrade on Ethereum does not add any scalability to uh ethereum main chain right the, the 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 tps remains the same it's just the consensus switch right uh and the and the expectation is that uh probably it will have a sharding sharded ethereum and then you know ethereum has a very decentralized roadmap and there have been multiple times discussions even vitalik had said that probably we will not go into sharding and we will simply with these dank sharding and all that we will simply focus on this being ethereum chain 
and uh, you know multiple uh, and we'll make it conducive for the layer 2 uh, kind of chains which will focus on scale whereas the ethereum main chain uh, focuses on uh, uh, you know more uh, stability decentralization and providing security to these layer 2 chains so so you know what we what we mean to say and then, and that's why like you know it has kind of become a misnomer that people think that this merge is going to add any scalability benefits into into ethereum this merge is uh, at least the current step does not add any additional uh, tps capability to ethereum the next one dank sharding also doesn't add any tps that means transaction per second or bandwidth to ethereum but it just allows more data to be there so the layer 2s can scale and uh, the sharded future is still like you know nobody really knows that uh, you know is it is it e- even going to be in the actual uh, roadmap of ethereum uh, or or you know we'll go into some other direction which will focus on layer 2 scalability instead of scaling the ethereum uh, layer 1 uh, i believe that we should go into the sharded future because even if we scale this uh, you know scale on the layer 2 we we need probably hundreds or thousands of uh, layer 2 chains uh in order to have like you know billions of users into uh into web3 so when it, ethereum goes into the sharded future it ex, you know it gets let's say instead of this one single chain we have 64 uh ethereum chains and uh, this tps of the base chain itself goes to probably 500 to 1000 transactions per second which means that now you can have hundreds of thousands of layer 2s where the actual user transactions can happen like this mm-hmm. this is like very important to understand that even if like it when ethereum gets into the sharded future let's say in 5 years from now and has 64 shards even they are like not enough uh, for the whole world because this is this is the world computer right the world decentralized computer for a whole world's application to exist on one single chain one single layer at the layer 1 uh, that's not feasible so you need layer 2 scalability and uh, you know for all the layer 2s and the ecosystem it's much better if ethereum keep scaling uh, from here which makes it more easier and cheaper for the layer 2 uh, you know uh, uh, scale to exist yep very organic i just also want to bring up the eth proof of work folks who weren't especially the miners who weren't so enthusiastic about losing some of their business model or all of their business model really and want to continue on with an eth proof of work chain so they tweeted out that uh eth uh, proof of work or eth w mainnet will happen within 24 hours after the merge the exact time will be announced 1 hour before launch with a countdown timer and everything including final code binary Binaries, config files, node infos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The timing will be made public uh, soon. So, Sandeep, I, I just wonder, will Polygon support this ETH proof of work chain at all, and what do you think ultimately will happen to it? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that uh, any serious ecosystem player in uh, you know in the Ethereum ecosystem is taking the uh the pow fork uh, seriously uh, which includes i think uh, stable coin none of them are going to support that uh, you know then the you know the rap btc uh, kind of players layer 2s i think none of them is currently uh, look i have never, at least i have never heard uh, to heard about uh, anybody looking to support that i think this um, you know kind of existing uh, or, or keeping this uh, proof of stake proof of work chain alive probably like you know i'm i'm not 100% sure it has never picked up that much traction anyway uh, overall and uh, probably it comes from a, a bit disingenuous place especially related to these markets and you know people having this new additional ethereum token and uh, you know and, and then the moment you fork ethereum this pow chain actually you get all the tokens i mean how they are if they are going to preserve the state which means that all the tokens existing in the in you know, our 95% of the tokens which are ERC20 they all have their pow version and all that and it will lead to a lot of uh, you know uh, market movements and things like that uh, and I, i think i don't think this is overall good for retail because retail gets confused which we do which do not understand this deeply and then some of them will end up buying those tokens which are getting into the market i you know generally don't support it and i don't think uh, the polygon community is 
is also supporting it i have never heard any voices in the polygon community to support the and on, on that note we so, still have ethereum classic uh, another proof of work chain that still is running so yeah. who knows what will <laughs> happen and it's up today